Welcome back. Law enforcement agents are tasked with protecting communities. But throughout history, we have seen mistrust between certain groups and the police. In this Hidden History segment, Bree Jackson shows us how a museum in Washington, D.C. highlights one man and his significant role in improving public safety and race relations. This badge, these sunglasses, and this nameplate belong to a pioneer in law enforcement and civil rights. Lucius Amerson was the first African-American sheriff elected in the Deep South since Reconstruction. Before that, a, a largely African-American population in Macon County was not able to vote for their sheriff. Rebecca Looney is director of exhibits and programs at the National Law Enforcement Museum. She says Amerson was an Army veteran who became sheriff of Macon County, Alabama in the late 1960s following the passage of the Voting Rights Act. She says many saw his election as a sign of progress for black Americans fighting for equality and against police brutality. It's a big step forward. I mean, we say that law enforcement um, needs to reflect our community. Lucius Amerson's story represents a defining moment in law enforcement history. Today, police departments nationwide acknowledge that maintaining and recruiting a diverse workforce is still a challenge. Recent headlines have focused on the Black Lives Matter movement and the lack of trust between police and the public. Craig Floyd, CEO of the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund, says he hopes the museum can play a part in easing those tensions. We're going to have thoughtful, important conversations between the public and law enforcement. The museum hopes sharing the stories of Sheriff Lucius Amerson, as well as the stories of men and women of all races who have given their lives in the line of duty, will help visitors better understand the vital role diversity plays in keeping our communities safe. In Washington, Bree Jackson.